Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Points. Today's video tutorial is video 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 advanced counting which is the subject for triple four. It is also a concept related and it is a AIOU examination system ka ek part. Hai. So this is our question, hai, question number three. This is the exam in spring 2020. जो पेपर्स का क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 है हम उसको सॉल्व करेंगे इंशाल्लाह तो चलिए हम रीड आउट करते हैं फॉर्म फॉर्म फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डाटा नॉट फॉर्म सॉरी फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डाटा ऑफ इक्विटी एंड डाटा ऑफ सलमान इंडस्ट्रीज कैलकुलेट द डेट इक्विटी रेशियो एंड प्रोपर्टी रेशियो द डाटा इज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस टेबल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल 1.1 मिलियन और 1100000 Capital reserve is 500,000, profit and loss count 200, it means it is profit. 60% dependent, uh, 500,000, sundry carriers 240,000, bills payable 120,000, provision for taxation 180,000, outstanding carriers 160,000. So let's move to the solution of the part 1. Before uh, enter into the solution of the part 1, I am going to discuss something and and share some information regarding the equity and debt so you can uh, understand it easily after uh, understanding this concept of debt to equity or equity and debt uh, <coughs> related information so uh, let's suppose we have uh, use the terminology capital employed is equal to share capital plus capital reserve capital reserve is that part of the uh, equity which has been reserved for the long term uh, <coughs> expenses or long term expenditures uh, to complete a long term uh, project of the business plus profit and loss if profit then plus uh, loss then we are going to subtract it and the fictitious asset will also subtract from it what are the fictitious assets they are intangible in nature therefore revenue expenditure with no resale value which is intangible intangible so uh, plus preference shares capital plus long term loan and dependents you have clearly seen that we i have separated the uh, <coughs> right hand side of the equation into two colors one is uh, blue color and the rest one is the uh, green color so all the portion which is uh, colored in blue are part of the equity shareholder and uh, and the uh, Green part is related to the long term ratio. Why I am going to do it, do this? Uh, it is done by me to show you the clear picture of regarding the capital and equity share funds and debt funds. So all uh, blue portion is equity share and this last term which is in green is our debt, total debt. Remember that in total debt we do not include the uh, liabilities of the current portion of the balance sheet we only handle the long term loan or dependents so look at this in the uh, table in the table there is 60 percent dependents and there are <coughs> no other long term loans which may be taken from the other banks and dependents means in the uh, the business uh, Salman industry has issued the dependents to uh, acquire the loan uh, from the people not from the financial institutions so this is why we are going to 60 percent dependents and uh, there's a some long-term loans which is maybe from uh, dependency or which is maybe from financial institutions they are such as uh, commercial bank uh, and investment bank etc so uh, i have already mentioned this right hand side blue portion and uh, that includes short term and long term include uh, sorry this is not the portion of this uh, by mistake, I have written this, delete this. So, long run dependency is 60% is for 500,000. Equity is this equity shape, uh, 1100,000 plus 500,000 is uh, part of the capital reserve plus profit and loss for 200,000 is equal to uh, 1700,000 or 1.7 million. Now, count the debt to equity ratio is equal to debt is equal to 500,000 divided by. 1.7 uh, million or 17,000 uh, 1700,000 is equal to 0 0.2941 now come to the part B 
property ratio is equal to QT divided by total assets. Total assets, so we have the portion equity, but we have no information total assets because you look at the information given in the table. All the inputs in the table are belong to the long term and short term liabilities of the Salman industries, and there is no any information regarding the asset size of the balance sheets. <coughs> so we don't have, in my opinion, uh, information regarding the total assets or assets. So in the absence of this information, we I cannot find the property ratio. I hope you will find this question useful. If you find any <coughs> mistake regarding calculation, please correct in comment sections. Or if you want to uh, add something more from your side to make it more um, better solution, so uh, drop your suggestions and advice in comment sections. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum.